to a special NBA versus NFL episode of Fun Grows Food. So right now we're in Houston, Texas for a Rockets game. Tomorrow we're going to be at NRG Stadium for a Texans game, and we're going to be comparing the concessions. We're going to find out which league has better food, the NBA or the NFL. Let's, Let's go. go. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on that video and big shout out to Casetify for sending me some of their new Ultra Impact phone cases. I also heard that you can drop them from 10 feet up. Maybe we should try that. But first, we gotta see what they sent us. Wow. So what's really cool is their Chi Tech technology and that is actually these little pads on the inside that are gonna give it double protection when it drops on the corners. It's really shock absorbent. Let's go try it out. All right, so this is my actual iPhone 11. This is an actual Caseify case. So Caseify swears that you can drop these cases from up to 9.8 feet. Here goes nothing. No, 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 no. Yo, my baby. Oh, Face ID works. Man, as long as Instagram still works, that's all you need. Who left that comment? I put my trust in case to fight and they came through. I was super impressed by how that ate the fall. Like you can see in the video that when it didn't bounce very high, when it hit the ground, it just thunk. This corner just ate it, that Chi Tech material right there. The price point for Caseify, yeah, it's a little bit higher, but the quality that you get, unmatched. I think they make the best looking, most protective cases out there. Click on this unique link down below. That's 20 Fun Bros. Plug that in, you'll get a discount right away. If you go on our Instagram, we will be giving away these two cases, so leave a comment down below and follow those instructions. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of that video. First up, we've got the Rock Shrimp and Pepper Jack Quesadilla for $14 here at the T.O. Center. I'm pretty excited. I never had a quesadilla at an NBA game. With hey, Rock Shrimp? No, no. Okay, here we got the Rock Shrimp Quesadilla, man. Let's go in on it. So for me, I thought the flavor was really good. There was a really nice lime uh, flavor and a lot of sweetness, but to be honest, not all the cheese was melted. So I don't know, I gotta give that like a three out of five. I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five because the pepper jack, to me, is too overpowering to the shrimp. I'm gonna give it a three out of five because I do like the combination of sweet and cheesiness. I never had that before. Yo, Jack, I'm tight, man. I'm mad. This was $9. Sad, bro. What are those? What are those? I'm going in. I'm going to be trying the $9 chili cheese fries from Bud and Burger Stand. It tastes better than this. I don't know what they put on this fry, but... Y'all, I would say aesthetically, it gets a one out of five. I'm a 2.5 out of five, $9. Regular hot dog. Would you guys say that almost tastes exactly like Costco? Yeah. I give that a 3.5 out of five. Back at a 2.5 out of five. Give it a three. For a second, that the hot dog game at the Toyota Center was lacking. I thought they were slack, but right in my right hand, I have something I have never seen before. This is a barbecue brisket cheese hot dog. This is uh, elotes, Mexican elotes with melted Mexican cheese on top of a hot dog. It looks, it looks more impressive than it tastes. I'm not really sure what the corn is supposed to do in this dish. Yeah. It's just kind of cold and creamy, but. I think the sriracha was the best part of that hot dog, honestly. It, was, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't good. It's fire? It's good. Oh, watch out. Oh. Wow. Wow. Man. Now, I might eat the whole thing if I wasn't afraid of um, a heart attack right now. Yeah. I mean, that's a. Yo, that's good. I give that a 4.5 out of 5. Wow. I give it a 4 out of 5. I would give it a 3.5.
guys, I've got Bill's Spicy Buffalo Wings, $15. It's pretty good. I give it, or it was expensive, 3.75. 3.5, then you got to round down. 3.5, you got to round down. All right. I give these wings a 3.5 out of 5. Pretty solid. I would not be mad if I got them. $15 for six of them. I give these wings a 3.5 out of 5. I think they're marinated well. I think they could be crispier, but they are really big, so. All right. My bad. I give this a 4 out of 5 because I really want another piece. something you cannot get at the Rockets game. With a price, I'll give this a 3.5 out of 5. 3 out of 5. If you're looking for a unique Southern sandwich here at the Texas Stadium, I would definitely check this out, but I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. That means it's worth but getting. It's not a must-get. It's not a must-get, but it's if you get it, you're not mad. I'll say this. They, are, they definitely got a lot of food that they do not have at the Toyota Center. Yeah. It was I mean, good. it's the Toyota Center. Toyota, it's just not. It's from Japan. Yeah, Toyota's from Japan. It's a Japanese word. I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One bite, everybody knows the rules. Wow. Wow, that is very Ooh. smoky. That smokiness is super, super strong. The meat, Wally. The potato bun is pretty soft, too. I gotta say, there's just not enough juice, though. There's no juice. There's no sauce. Am I, for 1550, I'm gonna give that a four out of five. I think I might have to do a 4.5 out of 5. 
Whoa. Yeah. No, no, I'm mad at you. This brisket was good. Uh, the potato bread was underwhelming, but this brisket was high quality. Yo, high. That brisket was like maybe some of the best brisket I've ever yeah, had. That was really good. Killings is really good. Yeah. I would say I give it a four out of five. Let good. me revise it to 4.5 out of five, just wow. like what Jack said. All right. What, what if we the, ate the brisket on two Dolo briskets? Oh, that's good. That's 4.5. That's out of way. Five. That brisket is five out of five. That's way better. Brisket's five out of five. Sandwich was four out of five. Average is out 4.5 out of five. Right. That's a must cop. Yo, you guys, we have something that I do not believe they would ever have at Toyota Center. Or at an NBA game, period. These are Wisconsin cheese curds. We've got jalapenos, we've got regular. So, wow, these are fresh, super hot. Yo, look at this. Wow. Jalapeno Wisconsin cheese curds. I love jalapenos. It was a little too salty, but for what it was, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. It tastes like a, a Popeye's biscuit with extra cheese. I like it. I don't know if I can eat all five of them. I give it a 4 out of 5. Man, 3.5. I like how unique it was, but I really wasn't feeling how salty it was. Corn dog nachos, I've never had that in my life. Let's take a look. I never had anything like that before. Four out of five. Four out of five, really? So unique. I love corn dogs. The X carrier could be a bit better. I give that a three out of five. Was well, not terrible, just I don't want to eat another piece. Yeah. Three and a half. I mean, you gotta think it was still pretty inventive. All right, you guys, that does it for our NBA versus NFL arena. Food concession stand battle. Wow. When it comes to the NBA or the NFL stadium, who do you think had better food? David? All right, as far as Houston goes, for sure, I gotta go ultimately with the Rockets. Okay, Toyota Center. Jack? As far as taste, I gotta go with Toyota Center. But the experience here, the way the food looked, the creativity, it was this NFL stadium. Oh, easily on interactions. Easily. I will give it to NRG Stadium in the Houston Texans oh. for the reason that the brisket was the best brisket oh, yeah. I've maybe ever had. And two, I had a bunch of dishes I've never had. Thanks for watching that. Check out Jack's information down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. You guys, that was NBA food versus NFL food. Comment down below and let us know who your team is. All right, everybody. Until next time, we out. Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Just want to let you know we do have a brand new podcast called the A3N Podcast. We're talking about all types of stuff. We're going to have all types of guests on the show. Obviously, if it's me and David, we're going to get really deep and personal and real. Also, we have a highlights channel. If you guys don't want to listen to the whole entire podcast, there's going to be like the highlight clips there that you guys can just check out. Check out the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Himalaya, A3N Podcast. Leave us a review and a like and listen to it. Peace. Peace.